I'm Jordan from Prop Creative up in Darwin. Uh, we're here doing some workshops with youth. We're going to paint a few murals around the high school here at Tennant Creek. Uh, yeah, so my business in Darwin is Proper Creative. We run the Darwin Street Art Festival and just murals around town and in schools. Jordan's uh, a young artist that's been working with us for about three or four years now. Yeah, so he's come a long way. So we've come to Tender Creek to work with the Tender Creek High School and the young people here to do a couple of murals at the school and hopefully on the main road. See this one here, how we have like that colour in the background, then you can come back and make it look backwards. Here you go, and light it. Maybe you just got a little. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we still like to find out what, what they want to paint and what they'd like to see on the wall, what sort of colours. And, and then we sort of go from there. Who did this money sign you want? Who did this one? I am. Can you do more, more dollar signs all around? So we do most of our murals with spray cans. It's just how I learned to paint, and it's a really great way to engage young people. This one is a, it's a a style that we like to roll out, it's a bit of a patchwork where we just paint a bunch of different squares and then each kid gets to sort of decorate it how they want and then the whole, the thing just becomes one big mural at the end. A bit like the community, you know, the community is a bit of a patchwork of different people and a bit like that mural. Like a skinny line? This one here. It's New Yorker. Better feeling. We grew up doing the same thing, but up in Darwin, and you know, it's it's actually potentially, it's a potential career opportunity now. You know, doing art and murals and street art, whichever way it is, um, we make a living off it, and it's a good potential pathway for a career. Yeah, so this was the site we were given for the high school. I thought it would take maybe three days to do. and But yeah, we did it in about two hours because we had about 10, 12 kids. And yeah, they, they smashed it out real quick. So now we're probably going to do another four or five walls in the school. And yeah, hopefully some in the town centre. Yeah. We watched you bus and then you walked off. Drew <laughs> bus? No, you're Cameron. We all watched you. I said, look, just like, you don't even know, he's a mess maker. I hope that the kids uh, will firstly pick up spray can. You know, kids love to try something new, especially in art. We had a few of the kids that had never used spray cans before that didn't particularly like art, but, you know, really got in and had a crack once we got, got the spray cans out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's important, because not every kid, young person's into sport or music, so... Visual arts, sort of, um, I think, a good another option for people to express themselves and feel part of the community, give to the community. And when you've done a mural, it's a real sense of pride and, you know. It's two boys uh, starting up. This this one says, tight ties, tight ties, and where, where, where are you, Boyd? Boyd, Boyd, cook right there. <laughs> Ebony, and all this, this sets right here, and yeah, I don't know, it's cool. some kind of a comfort, simple. <laughs>